It's Bolton Wanderers on the left, led by Bill Riddy. Manchester United led by Jimmy Murphy. Freddie Goodwin, Manchester United, right half, Bobby Charlton. Oh, Bobby Charlton, a lot of eyes will be on him, then Dennis Violet. Nat Lofthouse leading Bolton, Brian Edwards behind him. Bill Ridding, the Bolton manager, has of course done this walk before. It's a long, long walk from those dressing rooms, and he was a disappointed man in 1953 when Bolton were beaten. Roy Hartle, Derek Hennin, Brown Birch, Ray, Doug Holden, Ray Perry and Tommy Banks. There's Bobby Charlton again, Dennis Violet, who missed the final very unfortunately last year. He was injured and no doubt everyone is glad to think that he's been able to come back this time. Dawson bringing up the rear for Manchester United. Colin Webster in front of him. Though there's someone behind Alec Dawson. Can't quite see who it is. Teams now be presented to His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Ned Lofthouse. Lucky man to be at Wembley. He was badly injured. Not long before the final. In fact, before the semi-final. And... Many people didn't think he'd be fit enough. Edwards, Higgins, Hopkins, Stevens, Hartle, Hennin, who's made a remarkable recovery from injury, which nearly kept him out of the final. Birch, it was Holden, Parry, and Tommy Banks. Certainly, His Royal Highness putting Bolton Wonders at ease. Captain of Manchester United, Bill Fouts. Stan Crowther, who played for Aston Villa against Manchester United last season. Harry Gregg. Possible to see who that little man is. It must be Ernie Taylor, I should think, being so small. No, it's Colin Webster. Ian Greaves. Behind Bill Fox at the moment is Mr. David Wiseman, uh, who is the chairman of the Challenge Cup Committee. There's Bobby Charlton, number nine. Dennis Violet. Is that right? Ernie Taylor. Freddie Goodwin. Jimmy Murphy, a former Welsh international. acting manager of Manchester United. On to the three officials, Mr. Sherlock of Sheffield, who has the honour to referee this game. And then Mr. Jennings of Wor Birmingham of Worcestershire and Mr. Hibbs of Dorset, the linesman. The three officials have a most exacting and important job this afternoon. It's a great honour for them, but also a great responsibility. And there's a good shot of Mr. David Wiseman, chairman of the Challenge Cup Committee, and Sir Stanley Rouse, Robinson in goal, Hartle and Banks at fullback, Hennin, Higgins and Edwards at halfback, Birch, Stevens, Lofthouse the captain, Parry and Holden in the forward line. And it's a Bolton throw, I'll give you the Manchester United team the next time the ball goes out of play. Goodwin, Taylor, no, Violet rather, Taylor moving into position. Charlton. 
throw to Bolton. Headed to a Hartle. It's the vital moment. Vital moments at Wembley when the nerves take the toll and the players try to gauge the speed of the ground. Crowder. Crowder again. Barry. Greaves. Number 10, Violets. And a foul by Crowder. Stevens and Hepburn to the Manchester United team. Greg and Joe box the captain and Greaves full back and obviously the elbows right in Dennis Stevens kidneys while Bert Sproston the Bolton trainer who's got a cup cup medal himself gets him fit again. Here is the Manchester United team. Greg and Joe box the captain and Greaves at full back. Goodwin, Cope and Crowther at half back. Dawson, Taylor, Charlton Violet and Webster in the forward line. The two wingmen both recognize centre forwards in the Manchester United side. Higgins with the free kick for Bolton. Taylor. Now Banks. In the point Birch. Number seven. Lockhouse. Isn't the sort of form we expect from Harry Gray? Corner for Bolton. Taken by Holden. Parry. Crowther out to Edwards. Lockhouse a goal! And Lockhouse a score! as joyful as ever puts Bolton into the lead after one minute and it's taken him 45 seconds longer than it took him in 1953 when he scored for Bolton in 75 seconds so Bolton leading 1-0 now his Webster number 11 out of play for a goal kick to Bolton Hopkinson, the Bolton goalkeeper, in only his second season in first-class football, but already England's goalkeeper. Number 11, Webster. Dawson. Charlton. And the corner to Manchester United. And a huge divot, you can see, cut up by that sliding tackle. Mr. Sherlock obviously be a golfer of replacing all the limits. Corner being taken by Dawson. Throw to Bolton. Edwards to Holden. Now Banks. Lockhouse. Brilliant swinging pass to Birch. Greg to number 10, Violet. Dawson. Violet, Manchester United switching positions. All their forwards jostling all over the front line. Leidsman gives the throw to Manchester. No, the referee reversed the linesman's decision. Parry. Lockhouse. Cope with him. And the throw to Manchester.
corner throw to Manchester. Five minutes gone. Bolton one has won. Manchester United nil. Fox. Brilliant save by the ball boy. Holden will throw for Bolton to parry. Holden. Another throw to Bolton. Parry, of course, taking it, so his wing half can remain in position. To Hennin. Stevens is there. And clearance to Webster. And the linesman, Mr. Hibbs of Dorset, flagging for foul by Birch on Webster. So free kick to Manchester, taken by number eight, Taylor, to Charlton. Throw to Manchester by Webster, Charlton. The Loft House. He's taking no chances. Reeves with the throw this time. Goal kick to Bolton. Uh, Any Taylor, the Manchester United inside right, is playing in his third cup final and with his third club. He played with Newcastle United, won a cup winner's medal, played with Blackpool and won a cup winner's medal against Bolton and now he's with Manchester United. But that isn't a record because a player called Hulse was inside right for Manchester United in 1909, for Villa in 1913, winners on those two occasions and then for Chelsea in 1950 when he was on the losing side. Cope. Not the players must judge the speed of the balls. It comes off this very firm, very springy turf. Cope up to Charlton. Banks. And offside. There's obviously a collision of heads which has done that. It looks like Billy Fouts to me. Goodwin standing up. Now that's Billy Fox. He's all right. So it must be Ron Cope. He's the only one of the defenders missing. So it's Ronnie Cope, the United centre half, who's injured. And Jackie Crompton, the Manchester United trainer, used to be tra trainer of Luton Town, and was in fact Manchester United's goalkeeper when they beat Blackpool in the Cup final of 1948. Ronnie Cope, all right. And the game goes on with a free kick to Manchester United, going to be taken by Fouts. Goodwin. Parry to Lothouse. To Birch. Parry to Stevens, number eight. Corner to Bolton. Ten minutes gone. Bolton leading Manchester United 1 0. Holden takes the corner. Dawson. Violet. Goodwin's moved up to the attack. So it's a free kick. It's a free kick for a foul by Holden of Violet. Free kick to Manchester United. Going to be taken by Fox. Higgins up to Holden. The way goes parry down the middle, but he doesn't go that fast. Yes, yes. 
Birch. Stevens. And brought down by Crowther. What free kick to Bolton. Some more divots to be replaced. Brown Birch, his first real season, the Bolton first team, still in the RAF. Number seven to take the free kick. A locked house. And Manchester United rather panic stricken then. That's the second mistake Greg has made. Obviously, nerves gripping these Manchester defenders badly. Out of play, throw in to Manchester United. Taylor. Birch. has moving in the position for the centre, but it's a goal kick to Manchester United. Harry Craig, Irish international, who played such a wonderful game here for Ireland against England. Back end of last year, a bit of a shaky opening in this game. Out of play for a throw to Manchester United. Higgins. Father to number four, Cooper. Parry to Stevens. To Parry. Birch, number seven. Blockhouse moving by that far post. And that's the dangerous Bolton move, of course, that was sent into the far post where Blockhouse is close. Goes out of play for a throw to Bolton. Throw to Bolton, who are having the better of it so far. Holden. Taylor, well back in defence. Violet. Stevens. A goal kick to Manchester United, who of course got all the pre-final publicity. They might well be finding that rather a handicap as Bolton were regarded as almost the underdogs and almost ignored in all the big publicity build up to the final. Charlton. Now Higgers locked house for Bolton. And a great save by Greg. Bolton full of confidence at the moment. Dawson beaten by the Bolton outside left. Holden throw to Manchester United who with 15 minutes gone are one goal to nil down. Bolton going for the ball, being so much faster with the thought of movement. And Goodwin with a throw for Bolton, for United. Right, it's Banks. And foul by Goodwin, free kick to Bolton. Free kick going to be taken by Tommy Banks, whose brother Ralph was Bolton's left back in 1953 when Blackpool beat Bolton. Edwards. Holden. And a throw to Bolton. Holden with a throw to Parry. Holden. Taylor well back in the United defence. In fact, everybody's in the United half now except the Bolton goalkeeper. Fox.
Cope. Violet, number 10. Webster, notice how he switched wings. And a goal kick. Charlton playing anything but an orthodox centre forward game. Violet. Taylor. Violet. And it's Banks there for Bolton. Now to number eight, Stevens. Holden. Well, it's easily cutting that down. Holden. Banks. Notice how he's moved up for the attack. Lockhouse hanging back. Birds number seven. Certainly Bolton ramming home the advantage now. And hands by Crowther, free kick to Bolton. Bolton Wonders, the cheapest team ever to play at Wembley, not one of the players cost anything at all in transfer fees. Two players from the Midlands, one from Derby, one from Buxton, the rest all from Lancashire. Parry takes a free kick, Lofthouse. That's Dawson, he decided to swap wings. Taylor, he'll be a great danger man. Webster. Violet. Must be probably telling Jimmy Murphy what should have been done then. Jimmy Murphy no doubt agreeing with him. United, that back pass, of course, intended for Holden. Good win to Webster. It's locked house. Throw to Bolton. Banks to Edwards. Bolton attack, the Manchester team comes right back on defence all the time but never really looks solid tending to bunch all in the middle they've done very little attacking on the wings at all Violet back to Fox number 10 Violet and here comes Holden Stevens, Stevens to Parry. Go to Manchester, take my Webster into Violet. Fox. Taylor. That's Violet to Goodwin. Henning, notice how. Speedier Bolton were making ground for that ball. <laughs> and 
Manchester's throw. 20 minutes, the first half gone. Bolton Wanderers 1, Manchester United nil. The goal scored by Lofthouse after two minutes. Bolton not going to take any chances in defence, not trying to turn when holding the ball. Manchester's throw taken by Crowther. Crowther number six. That's the highest yet, as they say, in Lancashire. Crowther, number six. Violet. Charles is trying to get into the open space. Taylor. Both of them are the Manchester attack to get going at all. And hands by Edwards. Free kick to Manchester United. Father number six, Charlton. Greaves, number three. Fine pass to Webster. Swap wings with the time being Violet. Taylor, take it up for Goodwin. Henning up to Lofthouse. Rick taking a real risk coming out like that. Not has to bet. Charlton, number nine. The Violets. Number eight, Taylor. And a quick save by Hopkins. Taylor with the corner for Manchester. Throw to Manchester. Taylor roaming everywhere, trying to get some order into the Manchester side. Charlton! And that's the sort of save that makes Eddie Hopkins England's goalkeeper. Obviously telling his colleagues not to make him do any more work like that. Now is this the sign of a Manchester revival? Webster back on the left wing with the corner for them. Birch. Stevens coming up the right wing. Making ground very, very swiftly. And a goal kick to Manchester. Twenty-five minutes gone. Bolton one was still leading by one goal to nil. The goal scored by Lofthouse after two minutes. Edwards, number eight, Stevens. Bolton. Banks backing up, Bolton backing each other up very, very well indeed. Through to Parry. Charlton. At number 11, Webster. Charlton to Dawson. 
banks there for Bolton. A throw to Manchester United. Dawson with a throw. Hennin. Holden. Parry. And hands by Greaves. Stevens, the free kick. Holden. Holden's throw taken by Birch. Holden way over on this side of the field. Strange position for him. Locked house. Reeves now. Birch. A little too near the goal to be any great danger. Now Webster gone on to the right wing again. Manchester switching positions almost desperately to try and find a way through this built-in defence. Charlton. Throw to Manchester United. Webster into number 10, Violet. Webster. Linesman says for Bolton, but the referee, Mr. Sherlock, says for Manchester. Webster. Lofthouse. Number three, Greaves. Cope to Charlton. Charlton getting through a tremendous amount of work. Extremely fast off the mark. Playing a very fine game indeed. He's being watched, of course, by his brother Ralph. And in 1953, it was Tommy watching Ralph play at left back. It's a throw in for Manchester. By Goodwin into Violet for 10. Good win to Webster. Good win again to Webster. must be almost tired of taking throws in. Violet. Edwards to Stevens to Perry. Violet. Number eight, Taylor. Cope. Edwards. Number 11, Holden. He can't save it, it's a throw in. It's another throw, this time for Bolton. Fifteen minutes to go before half time. Bolton leading one goal to nil. And it's their throw being taken by Tommy Banks. And he can take another one. Edwards, the Bolton left half, not taking a throw in yet. He's left it either to his winger or his fullback. Fullback Banks, who's in the England party to go on the close season tour, and he's certainly done his chances of an international selection a lot of good by his form this afternoon. The Manchester defence not using the ball well when they're clearing it. They're either putting it into touch or just down the field and usually goes to a Bolton man. Holden. Goal kick. The 
two league games between these clubs this season were both high scoring games Bolton won four goals to nil at Bolton but lost seven goals to two at Manchester Birch Stevens Parry Birch Cope strong man in the United defense violence reason for the delay he couldn't find anybody in an unmarked position Holden coming back to get that short clearance of a Henin Harpo Henin and a foul by Birch on Reeves holding Reeves off before the ball arrived. Three kick to Manchester. Three kick being taken by Greaves. Birch. Throw to Manchester. No, the referee has given a foul. A free kick to Bolton. Hartle taking the free kick. Lapkos, and it's Bravo who hooks it clear. Throw to Bolton. Holden to Stevens. Oh, this is a little too lively for Stevens. Now Violet. Higgins. Hennin. Bolton covering extremely well. Lothouse to Birch. The corner to Bolton. from away to our left the Bolton supporters and not an answering roar from our right where the great Manchester contingent is situated Birch with the corner Greg to number eight Taylor Charlton Taylor Charlton Brother Henning to Birch. Birch is right at that move on Greaves. He slipped past him quite a few times, but nearly always the ball has gone into touch. He's trying just a little too, much, too near the touch line. Out of play, a throw to Bolton. Ten minutes before half time, Bolton leading one goal to nil. Hartwell to number eight, Stevens. Rather. Banks once again on the ceiling for Bolton. And a foul by Reeves. Leaning with one foot as he plays the ball with the other. Sherlock is having a word with him. Hartle takes the free kick for Bolton. Lofthouse. Fox. Another clearance into touch for a throw to Bolton. So many of those Manchester United clearances have gone into touch. Defence having rather a hefty time of it at the moment. Fox to Taylor. Holden. Goal kick to Manchester United. Bolton are tackling and moving so swiftly they're not allowing Manchester United to settle on the ball at all. Not allowing them to get it under control. As soon as the ball gets there, there's a Bolton man challenging and another one waiting to move in. Charlton. 
He's a great danger man. And the corner given away by Henny. Those Manchester fans obviously think that the Manchester United goal is coming any moment now. Webster taking the corner for Manchester United. And it's Holden back there. Uh, Perry back there in defence. Up to Holden. To Lofthouse. So to Bolton. Noticeable that both sets of inside forwards come back to help their defence. Taking no chances at all. And again, the fullback taking the Bolton throw. Banks. Edwards. Violets. Charlton inside. Webster. Corner to Manchester United. One feels that the Manchester forwards are often trying to do just a little too much on their own. Taylor with the corner kick. Throw to Bolton. Banks with the throw. Bumps. Charlton is ever bobbing up wherever the ball is. Hopkinson could only have had a split second to see that one. Lofthouse. Holden. Stevens. Manchester throw. by Goodwin, Webster, by Edwards, Edwards at long last taking the throw, Bolton left half to Banks, Edwards, kick. No, the referee hasn't given it. Lines with the flag. Mr. Jennings, Birmingham, and Worcestershire flag for the free kick, but Mr. Sherlock of Sheffield, the referee, said no. Reeves. Reeves again. Edwards. Stevens to Edwards to Stevens. Good tackle by Greaves. Violet. Higgins. Greaves leaving it to Taylor. Violet, Taylor. Lofthouse number nine. And it's Crowther up to Charlton. Number nine. Throw to Manchester United. Five minutes before half time. Bolton Wanderers leading by one goal to nil. Goodwin with the throw. Charlton. Parry. Parry to Lofthouse. He 
Hagen. Birch. And Glover with his elbows right in the back, so right in the back of Stevens. And the referee's going to have a word with both of them. Stevens, number eight. with the free kick for Bolton. Throw to Manchester. Webster back on the left wing now. Crowther taking this throw. And a foul throw. He just dropped the ball. out of play Manchester throw and Stevens has obviously got a jar on the ankle but he's all right Henning Greaves Bolton's throw taken by Henning to Stevens. Watch your back. Webster. Webster into Charlton. Well, he's trying to whip something into the Manchester United team. Up to Dawson. Corner kick. Corner being taken by Dawson. Brilliant header by Annie Taylor, and we're not used to seeing Taylor bobbing up with those headers. We usually think of Annie Taylor as a ball player with the ball on the ground rather than the man who leaps up and glides them in with his head from a corner kick. Goal kick to Bolton. Birch, Lockhouse. Bolton's throw. Leaving it for Harper. Headed completely unmarked. by Edwards on Taylor right into his back to Webster Violet number 10 it's Greaves number 3 Dawson to Goodwin Field for a corner kick, but the line's one right on the goal line on this side of the field. Birch. And the half time whistle. Bolton Wanderers leading by one goal to nil. Then Matt Busby, I wonder what his feelings are at the moment. As his side turns round. One goal down. And Bolton start the second half. One goal to nil in the lead. That is Greg having to wear a cap now. The sun shining right into his eyes. Very, very strong. Very bright at the moment. Throw to Manchester. By number seven, Dawson. And a very good one, too. Lothouse being troubled by the sun. Carry number 10. 
Hopper to Stevens. How did he get unmarked like that? Certainly, Greg got over any nerves he might have felt in the early stages of the game. The violence. Taylor. Locked house. Number 11, Holden. Stevens. Stevens roaming around a great deal, worrying the defense. To number 11, Holden. Lofthouse. Certainly, that Lofthouse number nine is intent on winning a cup winners medal this season. It's a man who's fought his way back into the international reckoning. Those top hats, Manchester United supporters. Rather silent at the moment. Goodwin to Crowder. Charlton. Working tremendously hard, Bobby Charlton. And Parry. Birch. Swinging past to Holden. Lofthouse. Holden. Harry, Lockhouse, long side, and Crowther taking no chances at all. Corner kick to Bolton. Playing with supreme confidence. In fact, before the final, they looked a very, very confident side indeed. Banks. And it was Ernie Taylor, the old campaigner, who saw that the danger of that move. Goal kick to Manchester United. Charlton always looking for the ball, hungry for action, this young fellow. Taylor to Goodwin. Edwards to number 11, Holden. Goodwin to Fox. Goodwin again. High ball. High ball. High ball. Probably heard <laughs> the appealing for, for that one. It was by Alec Dawson. We have got the fixed microphones down there right by the touchline. Crowther. Webster. Edwards to Stevens to Lofthouse who's flagged offside. The rule, remember, is where the player was when the ball was last played, not when he got the ball. He did move back a few yards. Free kick going to be taken by Cope. Five minutes of the second half gone. Bolton leading one goal to nil. Goodwin, number four, Greaves, Cope, Fouts, Banks. his legs round Paris. It's a free kick to Bolton going to be taken by Banks. Goal kick to Manchester United.
Holden. Parry. Stevens. And Stevens is offside. Rather quick free kick to Fox. Head in to Banks. Not usual to see Banks go to the tackle so lackadaisically. Dawson. Webster's not offside. Parry. has covered an awful lot of ground in this match. He's cut off a lot of dead on the wings and Lofthouse is offside. Good one. Went into Charlton. Higgins now out to Birch. Dawson. Number nine, Charlton. Violet. There's Webster. Taylor. Charlton. And, oh, what a lucky let off. Hopkinson, the Bolton goalkeeper, is as lucky as a man with half a dozen tickets for my fair lady after that. <laughs> Holden number 11, Perry going down the wing, there's Perry onside. Goal kick, beaten by Goodwin. Stevens, hold it. Stevens, number eight. Cope once again there for you, Manchester United. Rather, Fouts up to Violet. Higgins bringing down Violet. He's judging the ball first and then getting himself into a hopeless tangle. Webster to Fox. Higgins. Stevens. Coke, number five. Lovely ball to Webster, number 11. Bolton not playing as calmly as they did in the first half. Ten minutes of the second half gone. One goal to nil, Bolton leading. Holden to Parry. Holden, number 11. Stevens, Edwards. To Stevens. A goal! by Lockhouse. And Greg is hurt. I think Greg might well have hit the post. The Manchester players complaining that Lockhouse hit him in the back. The Manchester United fans booing for all their worth at the award of that second goal and onto the field. Behind the goals wide right, the Manchester award is very intense, but Ted Dalton, the pit, there he is, the physiotherapist of Manchester United, coming on to see what he can do for Greg. It would be a tragedy if for the second year in succession, 
Manchester United have their goalkeeper taken off. Alec Dawson there looks very incensed about the award of that goal. I think the damage was caused by Greg's head hitting the post before he went into the net, ball and all. But Mr. Sherlock has given a goal, so Bolton lead by two goals to nil. Looks very much as if Harry Gregg is out. And off comes his jersey for the second year in succession. Manchester United are to lose their goalkeeper. What a great tragedy. Uh, no, Jackie Compton and Ted Dalton aren't giving up yet. Jimmy Murphy now coming onto the field and Bert Sproston, the Bolton trainer. And Jimmy Murphy. Bert Sproston in the light wind cheater. Many people, consensus of opinion appears to be that Greg was charged in the back. But it doesn't matter what many people think. It's only one man counts, Mr. Sherlock. He's given a goal. Now it, it does appear to be Greg's back that's hurt, as well as his head. Well, there's Ronnie Noble on the spot, as usual, with the radio camera. And I shudder to think what that stuff is that Jackie Crompton is wetting underneath Harry Gregg's nose. certainly seems to be acutely distressed but they don't don't come any tougher than Harry Gregg the Manchester United and Ireland goalkeeper uh, I wonder what a group of players Annie Taylor number eight then Dennis Violet Bobby Charlton and number 11 Webster and Gregg is all right Greg has decided he'll play on. There's Jimmy Murphy with him. Just making last-minute check to see that he's all right. Well, a long, very long delay, all of which will be added on at the end. But with Greg all right again, Manchester United kick off now two goals to nil down. Taylor. Violet. And a corner kick for Manchester United. And I should imagine that photographer will know all about it. Don't worry, pal, it hurts for tomorrow morning. The Manchester United put all the tall men in the middle. Ernie Taylor is going to take the corner kick. Box. There's nobody on the left wing. It's been a lot of Manchester's trouble. They've been bunching in the middle far too much. And it's a goal kick to Bolton. They've been switching positions tremendously, but quite often they've been left without any, w any effective wingers at all. commanding those open spaces to Loft House Cope to Crowther Dawson Holden number 11 Birch completely unmarked Cope, and it's corner kick to Bolton. Uh, 
And that's the Bolton contingent. Shirt sleeved and very happy as Parry takes the corner. Lockhouse. Dawson. And a throw to Manchester. Quarter of an hour, just a just slightly over quarter of an hour, the second half gone. Bolton leading 2-0, but there'll be about three minutes to add on at the end for the injury to Gray. Higgins. Martel. Throw to Manchester. Higgins to Lockhouse. And Fox very quick to come across. Kennan to throw. Greaves. That's a first mistake Banks has made, and Dawson out of position and too slow to take advantage of. Throw to Bolton. Banks to number 10, Parry. Stevens. Parry, Cope. Very fine centre half indeed, Cope. Hennin. Stevens. Holden. Cope drawn out of the middle, bashing back now. Parry across to Hennin. Hello, Manchester United chaser is Bobby Charlton. But Greaves to Crowther. To Violet. Taylor. Not yet been the commanding figure he can be. Crowther. Higgins. Parry and Holden's not on his wing, so it's a throw to Manchester. Many people expected the Bolton defence has been extremely strong. Charlton. Banks. To Edwards, number six. To Birch. Edwards. And Greaves once again there. Charlton calling for the ball. Back to Banks. Bolton plays very quick to move towards the ball, but all looking for it, all wanting it. Bolton are doing a spot of switching. That's Birch on this left wing. Birch the outside right. Fox to Goodwin. Crowder, number 11, Webster. Charlton, number 9. Violet. Reeve judging that ball beautifully, considering he's staring straight into the sun. House throw to Manchester. Crowther to Taylor, number eight. Charlton to Violet. Up Cope. Reeves. Reeves again, up with his attack. Back to him from Webster. Violet. Violet again. 20 minutes of the second half gone, not counting injury time. 2-0 for Bolton Wanderers.
Charlton. That's Perry. Still Charlton fighting for the ball all the time. Through the violets. Hartle out to Birch. And Rob Hart is given offside. Foul by Cope pushing Lofthouse in the back as they both went up. Banks going to take the free kick for Bolton. Fox with the throw for Manchester United. It's not out of play. It's not out of play. Yes, it is. Yes, the linesman's got his flag up. Dawson. There's nobody in the middle. left Webster with a great chance well Eddie Hopkinson seems satisfied with it but one or two Bolton supporters must have had heart failure at that moment Taylor with the corner for Manchester United Greaves beat by Lofthouse to Birch Stevens, Hartle, Cope to Charlton. All places turning up at left back. He's been in every position but goal now. Holden, number 11. Birch. Charlton. He's looking for that open space. Hennin back to Banks. Not really looking where he puts that one. There's not a soul on the left wing. Ronnie Cope. Crowther, number six. Up goes the linesman's flag for offside. The referee line play to go on as Manchester United were in possession but now it's Bolton with Holden through to Stevens. Cope. Charlton number nine. Looks about the one Manchester player who might turn this game round. Up to Violet number ten. Taylor, Webster, Violet, that short passing right inside the penalty area, allowing the Bolton defence to cover up, and there's 20 minutes left for play, Bolton leading by two goals to nil. Ray Perry is down, rubbing his ankle. He's ripped off his lace. Ray Perry, who first played for Bolton Wanderers' first team seven years ago when he was only 15 years of age.
Parry has played twice at Wembley as a schoolboy. He played in the very first schoolboys international at Wembley. And in the same team, he had Ronnie Cope playing of Manchester United, playing at centre-half, or rather, Ronnie Cope now of Manchester United. Parry all right, it's a throw to Manchester United, taken by Goodwin. Fouts. Holden, Crowther, Stevens. Parry. Little too strong for Lofthouse, there's Cope. Bounce very quick to see the danger. Out of Greaves. Dawson once again, change of wings, it's Bolton's throw. Taken by a Hartle. Again Bolton's throw, and still not the wing house taking it, Bolton keeping the wing halves as the extra man in attack. Birch to number 11, Holden. Stevens, it's out of play for a throw-in. And it's Bobby Charlton back there. How that boy's worked. Rather, another throw to Manchester United. Hartle to Holden. Out of play, throw in to Manchester United. The Bolton has switched their forward line now. Perry's gone out on the left wing. This Perry, number 10. Birch has come over almost to inside left into Holden, number 11, to Birch. And it's Cope who gets it away. Taylor not, not on the mark. Stevens, number 10, Parry. Crowther up to Taylor. Hartle. Greaves. Dawson's got a start on Hartle, but he's lost it. And it's Bolton's throw. <laughs> One of the few occasions when the wing half, this time Hennin, taking the throw in for Bolton. Crowther to Charlton. Goodwin. A parry. Fouts to Webster. To Violet, whistled offside. Stevens. Throw to Manchester United. 15 minutes left, not counting injury time, of course. Bolton Wonders 2, Manchester United 0. Cope to Taylor to Crowther. Violet, number 10. Webster unmarked on this right wing. There he is, number 11. And a goal kick to Bolton. Manchester United do lose this cup final, they will be the first team ever to lose two successive finals at Wembley. Charlton. Dawson. Charlton. Crowther, number six. Charlton. Dawson. 
Violet's coming in the middle. And the side netting, a goal kick to Bolton. No corner kick. Again, Ernie Taylor taking the corner kick. Violets. on the left wing for Bolton and playing with no shin pads on his left leg notice Holden's behind him backing him up as Holden Reeves there for United throw to Bolton back to Banks number three Holden Stevens, like a, a little bit too much, now it's out to Violet, Charlton, he's always the man running for the ball, calling for it across to Crowther, number six, and a foul by Stevens, getting Crowther's legs, Reeves with the free kick to Cope. Holden up to Parry. It's a little too strong. It's Cope's ball. That's Banks, number three. Once again, Cope. Number five, Manchester United saviour. He is the least experienced member of this team. Although he's 24 years of age, he was, was only the third choice for Manchester United at centre-half. Throw to Manchester United. Taken by Goodwin. Violet. Goodwin, Violet, number 10, Charlton again making ground, and offside against Webster. Five internationals in the Manchester United side, remember. Two internationals in the Bolton side. That's well, number 11, Holden. Birch. And the hands by Greaves. Again to Rob Stevens. Free kick to Bolton. Ten minutes left for play. Bolton leading two goals to nil. Hartle to take the free kick. Edwards, Stevens is offside. Judging by the way he came out so quickly, so daringly, Greg has got over the shock of that charge from Lofthouse. That's Goodwin. Taylor to Webster. That's Charlton. There's a loose ball. There'll always be Bobby Charlton around to snap it up. Lofthouse. Henning. Holden. It's 
Crowther. Often is Pick Bolton tackling, unsettling Manchester United. Bolton intercepting the ball. Off. Now it's to Stevens, number eight. It's too high for Lofthouse. Webster. Again, that interception by Edwards, who's played a very fine game indeed. Violet. Fox. Charlton. Violet. Dawson. A goal kick to Bolton. Eddie Hopkinson. Now on the threshold of Cup winner's medal to go with the international caps he's won. Tremendous success for a young lad who first played for Oldham Athletic at 16 years of age, then joined Bolton Wanderers, who's only been two seasons in first class football. Holden. Cope to number seven. Dawson. Violet. Charlton. Webster. Again, Manchester United giving Bolton time to cover up. Bolton making good use of that time. Crowther and Violet is offside. <laughs> Throw to Manchester United, Charlton, Cope. Charlton, those two Coburn Charlton, in Manchester United's best men. It's Banks. Stevens. Stevens beating Cope this time. In to Ray Perry. And this time the Bolton attack non existent. Little support for Perry up against so many red shirts. Now, Charlton. Taylor. Bolton, so with all the confidence in the world, Manchester United playing probably as well as they've been allowed to play, but never been able to get on top from the very first kick of this game. It's Greaves to Charlton. Crowther. Stevens. Birch. To Stevens. To Hennin. Seem, seem to be about 14 or 15 white-shirted Bolton players on the field at the moment. Lofthouse moving down that touchline. There's Lofthouse. Five minutes from the end. Bolton Wanderers leading 2-0. Webster. And offside. Against Violet. Higgins with the free kick for Bolton. Webster. To throw to Manchester United. And somebody has collapsed. It's Dennis Stevens. And 
The Bolton players are accusing Webster of having done it. And Greg has come out of his goal to, to stop any of the trouble. Well, this has never happened at Wembley before. But certainly Stevens has been knocked clean out. turn of the Bolton fans to start booing. And the referee, Mr. Sherlock, has just had a word with Webster. And Stevens on his feet. By my watch, he's only got another two or three minutes to last out, though of course there will be extra time added on for the injury to Harry Gregg. So the game restarts with a throw-in to Manchester United. Goodwin, Crowther, Goodwin, Charlton, Crowther, Dawson is unmarked, here's Dawson, and covered now by Banks. Hartle, out to Taylor, and a goal kick, and Colin Webster holds his head in his hands, and another broad grin from Eddie Hopkins. And looking at the bench, probably the calmest man, on both sides sitting on the trainer's bench is Harry Nuttall, the Bolton Wonders second team trainer. He's had this Wembley thrill three times, and three times he was on the winning side for Bolton Wonders in 1923, 26 and 29. So he knows what the Bolton Wonders players are feeling now. Bolton crowd confident that the cup is theirs and they'll be cheering it home to Bolton on Monday. There's still 30 seconds of normal time to go and then the injury time. Taylor, certainly not been the scourge of Bolton as he was in 1953. Stevens to number 11, Holden to Parry to Lofthouse. Stevens moving into position in the middle. Goes to Holden. Birch going in the middle. There's Birch. And it's Greaves who says the day. And Nat Lockhouse turning round, applauding every one of his teammates. And that's the Bolton contingent, certain that they're supporting the winning side today. The 90 minutes are up. It's just injury time standing between Bolton Wonders at the cup of short corner to Banks. And nobody covering banks this time. But Hennin to a Hartle. Stevens. Well, that's a lesson for Dennis Stevens to play to the whistle. He stopped thinking he was offside, and the referee right beside him didn't give him offside. Hennin 
offside against Lofthouse. One and a quarter minutes of the extra time played. <laughs> There's a lot of confusion to what he should be, really. No, the linesman is giving a throw in. Uh, the referee is giving a throw in. And, a, and it's a throw in to Bolton, and everybody thought the decision was Lofthouse offside. Another throw to Bolton. Taken by Hedin. And a goal kick to Manchester United. And Loft has, of course, inside the penalty area. If he got the ball, it wouldn't be any good because the ball's not in play till it's out of the penalty area. Violet with the throw to Goodwin. Reeves. Three minutes of extra time gone. When I say extra time, I mean injury time. Charlton with the throw for Manchester United to try that. Charlton. Parry to Lofthouse. The final whistle has gone, it's all over. Bolton have won the cup. And Bill Redding comes on to chair Lofthouse. And no man deserves a cup winner's medal for such a fine career as that Lofthouse. Freddie really Goodwin congratulating him. Ray Parry getting it from Bill Redding. And Manchester United, the first team ever to lose two Wembley finals in succession. And this is proof of what the Bolton players think of their skipper, Nat Lofthouse, who now goes over to Harry Gregg to shake his hand. And Ernie Taylor, his third final, his first losing final. There's Walter Winterbottom, the England team manager, who may well have decided to put Lofthouse back into the England team after his performance this afternoon. And Manchester United sportingly applauding the winners as Nat Lofthouse comes up to receive the Football Association Challenge Cup. The scorer of both the goals, there's Jimmy Murphy congratulating him. This is the moment of this is the moment of joy that all <laughs> the moment of joy that all professional footballers hope for and of course all the fans of every club well you think that was his mother well he said in 1953 if he won a cup winners medal he'd walk on the roof of the Wembley stand and now he's won it and holding the cup presented to him by the Prince Philip. And you could almost lip read what he said back. Brian Edwards, John Higgins. Well, that's it. All the fuss has been about that since the first week in September. Eddie Hopkinson, Dennis Stevens. Roy Hartle, who missed the 53 Cup final, having played in every round up to the final. Then he lost his form. There's Derek Hennin, Brown Burt, Ray Perry, Tommy Banks. And finally, the gallant losers, 
Bill Fouts for the second time in succession on the losing side. Stan Crowder, Ian Greaves, Colin Webster, Alec Dawson, Freddie Goodwin, Harry Gregg. Probably telling the J Prince Philip that he's all right now. Ronnie Cope has played such a fine game. Bobby Charlton and a sad-looking lad he looks. Dennis Violet and Ernie Taylor, the first loser's medal.